We're here at Think LA's Trends Breakfast, speaking here with David Ching. He's a digital prophet for AOL. Thank you so much for your time this morning. Oh, absolutely. Anytime. Thanks, man. You said native advertising is a shit term. A lot of marketers love the term native advertising, but you made a really good argument uh, uh, that it's not really about the term. It's about yeah, yeah. what it means. Yeah, part of the challenge is it, it, it's about you know, what people want in the context of native is something that's more ubiquitous. Now, native is just native to one site. And we don't visit one site, we don't have one digital expression, we have multiples. So native is okay for a single site to call it, but we shouldn't call that as an industry because there's got to be a harmony across it. We've got to arc the story to make sure there's a beautiful symphony that a brand is trying to do across all the digital experiences and the rivers that they're trying to drive to. So that's part of the challenge. The other issue I, I, that I have with the term is that a lot of people talk about, I want native and I want it to scale. So niche and scale it doesn't necessarily work. And I think we have to we have to hit the reset button on that. What about likes? You said that likes are rubbish. Um, are we talking about Facebook likes, or what are you talking about? Yeah, you know, Facebook likes or things that are really soft likes. You know, like you know, liking things on Yelp, etc. I think part of the challenge is this: it's a soft currency. It, it is actually an overblown currency because there's really no skin in it. There's no deep language of commitment. I think the highest currency at the moment, if we look to Facebook, would be share. Um, if I look to th things like YouTube, would be share. Uh, and so it's got a deeper engagement just to say, look, I want to actually engage with this in a way that isn't just like, hey, man, it's, yeah, I like that. I like, I like, I like, I like. But liking doesn't mean you're engaged. Uh, share probably means you've spent more time with it to engage and now you want to pass it on and you want the experience to be much deeper. And that's why I think that's important. There are going to be new verbs, want, purchase, desire, all these things are going to come at us which are going to give us a different type of currency, which is going to dilute even more where like is today because I do think it's diluted.